Good morning, you guys. Here comes a doggy. Is that my doggy? Good morning, you guys. Mia, I haven't told you yet. It is my birthday tomorrow. She's getting so big. At her last vet appointment, she was like five pounds. She has to be like at least six right now. She needs to slow down. Kicking this vlog off. This is going to be my birthday week vlog and maybe spam beyond that. I'm not really sure. Today is currently January 24th. It is my neighbor's birthday randomly, fun fact. And then there's like two houses that we're the besties with. One of them's birthday is today. Mine's tomorrow. And one of the people in the other house's birthday is like in a couple weeks. We're all Aquariuses. Why? I like don't believe in astrology, but yet at every stage of my life, elementary school to the present. It's like, I'm just surrounded by Aquariuses. I just like gravitate to them apparently. But right now, the sun is rising. It is beautiful. I'm looking like men in black. I am about to go to LAX bright and early to pick up my lifelong best friend, Caroline, that I talk about all the time. 17 and a half years of friendship, which is just very special. And she's my bestie and I love her. And I haven't seen her since last March. We see each other like once, maybe twice a year. So she is coming to town for my birthday. We have so many exciting plans over the next few days, but I just wanted to update you guys while I'm getting ready and looking in the mirror on the past few days of just what's been going on. Where was I? Oh, what we've been up to. Wow, it hurts my back to lean over. Whew. 29 years old. The past few days have been just so much fun. Giselle and I had a little staycation at a hotel that invited us over like to test out their Valentine's package, which I guess doesn't start until like a few days before Valentine's Day, which makes sense. But talk about a treat. We got to get like facials at the spa. I feel like my skin is like just looking so good now. I have like a nice like Valentine's tasting menu dinner and oh, dating back even farther like a week or more ago, I hosted a little Galentine's party that like, it might be up by the time that this video goes up, but for me, I've been like, it feels like sitting on it for weeks. So I'm excited to share that. That was just like a fun little wholesome night. Lauren came over, just decked it out with like all of the Galentine's decor. And I guess that's kind of it. Not tons to say beyond, I just wanted to kick off this vlog. I just love my birthday week. Last year, I did like a big dinner with a bunch of friends, which was fun, but I was going back and forth on like, what I wanted to do this year. I'm gonna go pick up Caroline. We're gonna have a nice breakfast. We might walk around in Venice for a little bit. And yeah, I've created quite the itinerary. So enough jabber and let's just get to the birthday celebrations. So got guest room prep going strong. I just put together Giselle and I am so excited for this. I've been waiting for like a multi-day guest to come stay in the house. Giselle and I have been collecting things for a little like amenities tray or like mini bar type situation to put in the room that I just think is so fun. First of all, what I think really does it are these like glass water bottles. I saw these little mini champagne bottles. I thought that would be fun to like kick off her celebration. We have snacks. She really loves these. I tried to specifically get her things that I know she would like. We used to buy this brand of chocolate all the time in college together. Sugar Fina things. We have tea. We have more drinks. Um, some liquid IV and one of these morning recovery things for, you know, in case you need it. And then in this back here, I have like toiletry items that weren't quite as pretty to put out. So toothbrush, toothpaste, um, I put like face masks, makeup wipes in case she needs them, um, just little things like that. So I'm so excited. I also printed an itinerary for her. Well, it's not printed yet. I made an itinerary of the weekend. Giselle's going to print it while I'm gone. <laughs>
Hopping in with some voiceover, I am cutting out the clips where I'm talking through all of the setup of this because at this point, I know it's been a couple weeks and most of you guys have already seen this in detail over on Instagram or if you have not, um, I did a full dinner party reel there, but I decided I just wanted to stay at home. So we made it a very special dinner for three. Um, we played games. We had someone come cook a dinner for us actually and it was just so delicious. The setup was so beautiful. And then my birthday was on a Thursday. So for the rest of the weekend with Caroline visiting, we just went out and about. I showed her different areas that I used to live in. I showed her some of my favorite spots, which was also near this like fine foods or rare foods store or something just always wanting to check out. So she was thriving there. Um, we brought Mia along for the ride in most places. Since she can't stay home all day by herself, we introduced Caroline to some of our other best friends. And then after dropping her off at the airport, we tried the TikTok famous Layla's bagels, which was delicious. Also, these are the birthday flowers Giselle got me. And then that was January 28th. So since then, we had a fun game night with some friends who are just so thoughtful. It turned into like a celebratory night where we were celebrating something for everyone, whether it was a job interview or a salary increase. They just made all of this feel special. And then to round out my birthday month, as Giselle said, on the 31st, she took me to dinner, just us two. And overall, I just had the best time ringing in 29 in so many ways. Since then, it's just been a lot of hanging at home with Mia, busy work days. We had some friends over for the Super Bowl and let's just bring this back to the present. Hello you guys, picking this up from so much later. Super Bowl is a couple days ago, tough loss. <laughs> Actually, I'm like just a fan of the 49ers through Giselle because she's from the Bay Area. Anyways, I'm picking this up from so much later than where this vlog started. I started this vlog because for some reason I thought I was gonna vlog when Caroline was here. You know, if you know me, I'm a planner. I created quite a packed itinerary for when she was here and I just didn't really vlog much, but, but it was such a fun trip, like we, I don't know. I've had this like realization that was partially brought on by um, if any of you guys watch Survivor. So one of the gifts I gave Caroline for her birthday, which is a couple weeks before my birthday. So I waited to give it to her until she was here. Like, I feel like she's hard to shop for. I feel like I'm someone who's hard to shop for too. So for those types of people, a gift I genuinely love giving is like buying a cameo, you know, like the website, like a lot of people, they're influencers and you know, D-list celebrities like promote that a lot. Like that website where you like buy a shout out or it could be a happy birthday wish. So the last time I saw Caroline was in March when Giselle and I went to Raleigh, which LOL, what a throwback. That was when we were like contemplating, like, do we want to live in Raleigh? And then we visited and we were like, no offense to the Raleigh people out there, but I thought for a big city, I was like, I thought there was more going on. I digress. When I visited there, we started, I guess now two seasons of Survivor Go, which had like Jam Jam and Carson and Crazy Carolyn. And so Carolyn was our favorite character, like from the jump. And so I got Caroline for her birthday, a cameo from Carolyn. These names aren't confusing at all. And it was 10 minutes long and she was like spilling tea. It's like we were watching this like, whoa, whoa. I feel like, mm, I don't know, is it NDA being violated right now? But it was exactly what you would expect from her. If you like know who I'm talking about for any of you guys who watch, but Either way, um, in her little cameo, she was talking about like, she's talking about her best friend who I guess has passed away and just like how she wished she had like taken more, you know, taken advantage of or made more of an effort to like see each other even when it wasn't convenient and this and that. Caroline and I only see each other like once a year. So with that said, why I even brought this up was that one, I didn't vlog because I was just so in the moment and I'm totally okay with that. Like I just, it was just the best trip. Um, but B, we're now planning like another weekend to see each other. We're like, this is, oh, this was my realization is like, this is time to hang. Like with my friends that live far, like I got more and more friends popping out babies. My college roommate, Brooke, you guys might remember, I've been keeping this secret since she told me when I was in Switzerland. Two, three, Brooke's pregnant. She's having a baby and she's due in like April, I think. And so that said, it's like, you know, not gonna be long till Caroline may be in this stage of life. Like now's the time to really be soaking up girls trips with my friends. We're trying to figure out something in like April, late April, I think, for just a little like best friends trip. Cause we've gone to visit each other, but we haven't like traveled anywhere new together. So who knows, we're trying to figure that out. But also other little travel plan update. I feel like I just have so much to catch up on. Like I've been wanting to start a new like week of my life vlog, which I'm gonna do after today. But I was like, I just have so much to like catch up on before I even get to that. And I need to leave my house in five minutes. Another travel plan is I'm also trying to, or I need to book my flights, but I'm gonna go to a little 
like East Coast trip. I want to see Brooke before she has her baby. In North Carolina, I'm going to see some other friends there. Just see some family since I didn't go home for Christmas. One of my sisters just bought a house, so I want to... I've been like helping her design all of her rooms. I think I might do a whole video um, depending on what stage she's at, I guess, when I'm visiting. But I've been like designing like her house, like mock-ups, amateur mock-ups, like you know, the whole nine yards. I'm gonna go help her. And then my other sister just moved to DC. This is just like a brief sister update. She is a lawyer in DC at a big firm. Like, can you believe it if you've watched my channel for a while? Like, especially the youngest one, like she's five in my head. Like, what? Like, no, but she's like a real lawyer. Like, make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. I am gonna go visit her in DC as well. And we're just gonna, you know, bop around. Bop to the top, I don't know. Giselle and I also just planned our summer fun trip. It's just been like a very productive past week with just like getting on top of all of those things, trying to like get a handle on or like plan out things we want to do this year, at least in like the first half of the year. Last thing I'll say for this like rundown quick update is just this past week, I've had the craziest week. Um, Little like management check-in. You guys um, have talked about I'm doing or I'm working with the manager right now for the first time in like a million years and or like actually probably like four or five years it has just been so great like the past week it was like a thrill kind of it's a week that I don't want to have every week at all but it was a week that couldn't have happened like without working with my manager and that was like I had so many quick turnaround opportunities that like showed up one day and they were like due in two days, like or due the next day or like I'd submit stuff, I'd get the okay, like the green light to film that morning. Then all right, I have to run out, I have to get all this stuff where I'm gonna get back, I'm gonna film it. I'm gonna be up late editing it, submitting it. Like it was a thrill. It was like a good time. I felt very accomplished last week, but like, you know, that was, or it's been, I guess like a week and a half of that or even yesterday. It's like every single day has been like a one day turnaround for some campaign. It was a time where I was like, whoa, I really couldn't have done all of this. This, like just on my own just with all the time it takes emailing and negotiating and like working out all the details like my full time this past week was in like planning and filming and editing so I mean I see it from that it's, it's been a good investment um yeah that's those are my first impressions I guess I just thought I would share and then right now I'm heading out to quickly go get my nails done I've been like painting over my like last gel manicure from like a month ago that like I feel like I can normally peel it off really easily but like the past two times at the nail salon I go to I never make appointments I just walk in except for today I made an appointment to avoid this but two times in a row I've gotten the guy there that does not do a good job everybody else I've always been happy with normally my nail polish I can just peel the whole thing off when like I'm done with it and I can just throw some regular polish on. But I don't know what kind of gel he used where like it is on there. I spent so long trying to get this off and I'm like, they're gonna have to like do the little filey thing. Like it's glued on. So main appointment, we got a good gal. It's gonna be a good little relaxing time as well. It's like, you know, just a little pause after, um, yeah, after just the past week and a half. So I need to leave now and I'm going to just vlog the rest of today. Yeah, thank you for watching. My hair is greasy. So let's do it. <music> got my nails done. I wanted to do a little Valentine's haul because tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I'm a little late on, um, I don't know. I mean, we don't do anything major for Valentine's Day. We're gonna stay home. It's what we always do. Just because I feel like going out to eat on Valentine's. I mean, do you. Like, I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. I feel like everywhere always has like a really expensive like preset menu. And generally, in my opinion, like you could probably go to that restaurant on a normal Tuesday and like just have a better experience where it's not like swamped with all these couples for Valentine's. I don't know. I did already get her one thing I'm gonna give her tomorrow. Um, a few weeks ago, I'll show you that when I get home. It's this like scrapbooky or like bucket list date night thing. Um, so I needed something to wrap that in. So I just went in CVS. I picked up this wrapping paper. I want to get her a couple little snacks she likes. She loves this brand of tortilla chips. They have like regular chips, I guess too. Um, we both love these. These are so good. This is gonna end up being a gift for Mia as well. I got us both little cute mugs that unfortunately came with these attached to them. So these can be little toys for Mia so that kind of works out. But I just thought these were really cute. This isn't like the coolest card. I feel like I could have done better, but CVS a little bit limited. So I mean, it just says the most romantic words I've ever been uttered. Let's get takeout. 
and that is true for us. Then I went in Home Goods and found better cards, but um, whatever. I think I might do one today. It's like an early Valentine's because I'm going to go pick up coffee on the way home to surprise her, which I would do tomorrow, but I don't have a, an excuse to leave the house tomorrow. So the little mini gifts will be tomorrow, but the coffee surprise will just be today. So I think an early Valentine's card. Um, Giselle just loves hot sauce. And then lastly, the reason I went in there was actually to try to get a good candle. My favorite candles are actually from TJ Maxx. I don't know the brand of them, um, but I know what they look like. And unfortunately, I didn't see them today. And I also wanted to get like a pink one. They had like a whole pink section, but none of them are smelling right. Like we like kind of like more, I feel like more like earthy or like masculine or like, you know, those types of scents, not like peony necessarily. I ended up going with this one. It's kind of out there. I can't decide if I like hate this idea and if she's going to hate this idea or if she's going to like it. It's just this candle that says coffee house and it just smells like coffee. And I know Giselle like loves coffee, loves the smell of coffee. At least she can see the thought process, <laughs> but I'm now going to head home or no, I'm going to go stop and get coffee and hide this in the trunk until tomorrow. I'm driving, so eyes on the road, but I think I might do one of my acts of kindness that I've been wanting to do like two a month um, and haven't really been the best at it, but I already have Valentine's flowers for Giselle, but I just drove by, you know how like when people sell flowers on the street, I just passed some people who have like, it looks like a storefront set up on this one corner. Like these are entrepreneurs, you know, like I just wanna check it out. Upon a quick drive by, I don't think I love any of the assortments, but for once I have cash, I have like $25. So I might just like bring it over and say like, I don't need them, but like give someone some free ones and like pay it forward. Or maybe they'll have something I want and I'll just buy it. <laughs> but I just thought it would be nice to, um, you know, try to support some locals. So let's, let's go see what they have. Hello. Hello. How much for the white roses? They love flowers. Uh, 50? Okay. Oof, you guys, I totally backtracked it. <gasps> hey. Uh, you guys, all right, I'm back home. Um, I totally backtracked on what I said I was gonna do is my mic on so I like pulled over went up that had like such a big setup but a dozen roses were $50 this is like an am I the asshole situation like you let me know what is anybody gonna be able to afford like my 25 is not really gonna you know get anybody else anything like I had hoped like somebody would actually be there and I would just like buy it for them but I was the only customer there at the time. Did want to support, unfortunately. Just could not justify $50 for a dozen roses when they're like 10 at Trader Joe's. It's one of those moments that it was like a nice thought, you know, like at least I had the nice thought. So we'll pay forward our acts of kindness this month another way. I have a puppy here that's, are you going to sleep? Let's say hey to the people. Quick Mia update. Also, I never talked about this, but like when we first got her, I was having major like allergy problems because I am allergic to dogs and cats. Um, she is hypoallergenic, but even their saliva, which now she's licking me, but like I'm not allergic to the fur, but it's the saliva. So I was having a hard time and like started taking daily allergy pills. And fortunately I've been immune for a while now, I think. She will have all her shots in like three weeks will be her last one. I think it should have been done already, but since she's like so small still, they couldn't give her like rabies and something else at the same time last time. So we got to wait a few more weeks and then she can actually like, we can take her on walks, which I'm sure will be a mess and a half. Um, but she can be a little social doggy and then she can get a haircut. Even though I'm like so sad, I don't want the puppy fur gone. Do you see this? Like so freaking fluffy, I need to brush you out. But below the fluff, you're a small girl. Hello? Hi. Oh, come in. Yes. Give me my early Valentine. I gotta go. What do you need? 